Encanto. Encanto. What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be doing um something not really I would do what I usually do. Teenagers, if you're hearing, if you don't want, if you know, if you see this, if you want to see this book right now. Um, so, um, this is me. This is very different from all my other videos because they're mostly for, they're mostly stuff that I, that is not that much for kids. Like, it's in the middle of kids and adults. It's like, for both, kind of, usually. So, and, so I'm going to be reading this book. And it's a little golden book. I just got this book and it's on Disney's Encanto. That's why I was like, in the beginning, Encanto. Encanto. So, let's get started. So, here's a picture right there. It's a picture of some houses in this beautiful, magical house. So, um, let's get to the next page. In a small village deep in the wilderness, an ever-glowing candle shone bright. Its magic was so powerful, a place of wonder was born. Encanto. The mirror. The Madrigal family lived in their home. They called in a home they called Casita. The magic blessed. The magic blessed all the Madrigals with special gifts. Julieta could heal people with food. Wow. Luisa had super strength. Cool. Isabella make, could make flowers grow. Oh wow. Antonio could communicate with animals. Let's just take a quick look at this page. So that is Julieta, Luisa, um, Isabella, and Antonio. And Bruno could see the future, but nobody talked about Bruno. He'd been gone for many years. When Mirabel was five years old, she got to wear her special party dress. She and Abuela Alma were excited to find out what her gift was. But when Mirabel touched the knob of the glowing of her glowing door, the magic went away. She was the only Madrigo without a gift. This made her feel like she wasn't special or worthy enough. One day, when Mirabel was 15, Casita started to crack. It began to shake. The house is in danger, Mirabel cried. Suddenly, she had an idea. If she found a reason for the cracks, she could fix them and prove she was special. Mirabel followed the cracks straight to the magical candle. Her sister, Louisa, told her that Bruno left the, the Encanto because of what he saw in his last vision about the future. Could it have something to do with of cracks. Mirabel was determined to find Bruno's vision cave. After climbing endless stairs, she was finally inside his room. There she found glowing pieces of his broken vision. Mirabel put all the pieces of Bruno's vision together. The puzzle revealed a destroyed casita and, the, and in the middle was Mirabel. What did it mean? Meanwhile, more cracks started to ripple through the house. Mirabel was running out of time. She discovered a secret passageway inside the walls. And there she found Bruno. He had been living there the whole time. Mirabel asked Bruno to look into the future. She believed it would help the uh, would help stop the cracks and restore Casita's magic. That's Bruno, that's Mirabel. They're doing a vision. Mm-hmm. Let's see. This is the next page, so let's Hold your hands. They saw a doomed casita. The family perched by dark cracks, and Mirabel was standing amid the chaos. Admit the chaos. Um, admit I don't know. <laughs> The chaos. Then a glowing figure. It was Isabella. Embrace her. You will see, and you will see the way. Said Bruno. Time. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. Come on, sing along with me. We don't talk about Bruno. But it was my wedding day. It was our wedding day.
today. We were getting ready. Maribel thought Isabella was annoyingly perfect, but Isabella told her that she always felt she could never be perfect enough for Abuela. Just then, the candle's light glowed brighter. <gasps> I can't believe it. Abuela Alma was angry at all that Mirabel had been disturbing. She told Mirabel that the magic had started dying the day she didn't get a gift. Mirabel had a Revela Re revolution? The magic was dying because no one in the family was ever good enough for Abuela Alma. Dra giant cracks appeared everywhere. The candle was almost completely melted away. The family members raced to save the candle, but their powers were fading. In its last effort, Casita got Mirabel to safety. Then, poof! The candle went out. The magic of Casita was gone. Casita had crumbled into a pile of rubble and dust. The entire Encanto shook. Everything was chaos. Feeling defeated, Mirabel ran away. Mirabel wandered past the mountains and at a nearby riverbank. Abuela found her. It was the same place where the Encanto was born and Abuela Pedro, Abuela's husband, was lost. Losing Abuelo something inside Abuela that no magic flame could ever re reappear, re reappear, reappear. Since that day, Abuela felt that the family was strong enough and worked hard enough she could protect them but now she realized her broken heart had made her live in fear we were given a miracle because of you mirabel told abuela this made abuela feel better me vida you are the miracle she told her granddaughter oh so cute <laughs> they all worked together to rebuild casita there was just one last piece of the house left, the doorknob, as Mirabel placed in the house. Swoosh! Casita came back to life, and the Encanto's magic was restored. Casita came back to life, and the Encanto's magic was restored. Sorry about that. <laughs> the family's gift, gifts worked again. At last, Mirabel felt her own worth and her family's love. So guys, that is it for today. I hope you liked this book right here, right now. I hope you loved it. I loved it in my opinion because it was all about Encanto and Encanto is one is my favorite movie. I might do a turn red book next time if I get one, but I don't know if I get one, but I might get one someday, but not today. I'll get it someday, I think. Anyways, lesson of the day. Always, it's not about what the fa the family's worth. It's about the family itself. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Encanto. Encanto. Watch Encanto, watch Encanto, watch Encanto, watch Encanto, watch Encanto, watch Encanto.